I'm John Pertree and I am excited to be back. And um, I heard that this very exciting news that I have to put a rating in my reviews or it's not a real review. Otherwise, the nice people from the repo system will break my legs. And you don't want these little legs to be broken, do you? Because you you cute little legs. I don't want you to be broken. Uh, sometimes they get real mad. I'm just kidding. I love the repo people. They're so nice and threatening. Now, um, I am very excited to review this movie. I, I like, watched it on TV, and then I was like, wow, that movie I watched on TV, I'm like, I wish I could talk about it, and then I realized, yeah, I can, because I have a camera, and I'm putting these things on YouTube, so I can't talk about them. That's, like, what I can do. So, um, this one is called Aliens from L.A., and it's great. I mean, it's a bit of racism, a bit of sexism, but if you ignore that part, it's great. It's great. So, I am really excited. Okay, so it starts, and the dad's like, Ugh. Wow, this temple's like old and mysterious and old, so I'm going to investigate. So I'm going into the temple. Oh, t oh my goodness. And then he's like, there's stuff in this temple. Well, I should touch this stuff. But then, wait, wait, there's a real good one here. There's stuff that he touches makes other stuff go like stuff. And there's so much stuff. And it's like, I'm laughing because I'm like, why is there so much stuff that's crazy? Uh, oh, oh Oh, it's, it's just it's cheap things, you know, it's so hard to be fashionable. And, I mean, okay, and so the stuff comes in, it's like, okay, okay, oh my gosh. And then I was like laughing, I love to laugh. Did I mention I love to laugh? I love to freaking laugh. That was a bad laugh, but I love to laugh. Now, so the, so anyhow, he touches the thing, it's like, it's just a boulder coming down. Why is that coming down? Like somebody stopped that boulder from coming down. And then he's like, ah, oh no, I better run to here. And then there's like a hole, and then he's in a blue light, and then he's in the center of Earth for some reason, right? And it's like, why did he go to the center of Earth? Why is that here? I don't know. It's the eighties. I have no idea. <laughs> and then it's like, and then it cuts to years later. And you're like. What happened to that guy? But it's, it doesn't matter. It cuts years later. And there's like this one person who's like, she's like, she's a person. And I can't remember her name. But, oh, yeah, Sarah. Was it Sarah? Well, it was definitely, yeah, I think it was Sarah. Okay, and so Sarah's like, ah, I work in this diner and I don't like it. And why do I have to work here? But I guess I should keep my job. But then this guy's like, hello, I have a letter from Africa. Why? I don't know. Why? Like, why? It's the 80s. You think there's a better way of transporting mail. But no, this guy just comes right into the diner with a letter. It's kind of weird. And um, then she's like, okay, well, this is creepy. I'll open it. And then, oh, oh, my goodness. This is about my dead dad who died for years. Remember? And then the audience is like, that was her dad at the start? What? I thought it was just a random guy. It ties in. That's amazing filmmaking. That is filmmaking, y'all. That's like... Well, this ties into the story. I'm writing this. The writer's like, yeah, and I just want to congratulate you. You tied it together so freaking wonderfully. Like, <laughs> I just, I felt so completed when I felt that moment. You know, I just felt like this whole arc was completed. But then it's like, when you think, okay, well, the movie's come to an end. It's like, it still keeps going. Why? What? What? <laughs> and then it's like, okay. So I better go, so um, I'm going to ignore that I just found out about my dead dad and go to the beach to visit my boyfriend. It's like, okay, well, this is good. His boyfriend ends up being a very mean boyfriend. And the boyfriend's like, I'm sorry, but your voice is annoying. He's like, no, it's not. She's pointing on an annoying voice. It's not really annoying. So what's, what's the trouble with you? And then he's like, okay, I'm breaking up with you. It's like, what? what? That's drama. What's going on? That's drama. It's like, Whoa, that's sad. I was like, oh, I was feeling so sad. Like this movie was like all happy and then it just turned the tables and I'm sad. That's called productive filmmaking. That's what productive filmmaking is, y'all. And then it's like, okay, so where are they going to go with this? And she's like, oh, well, like, he's left me. And he said I wasn't that adventurous. And it's like, yeah, so prove him wrong. And then she does. She does put him wrong because then she goes on a plane. It's like she's scared of planes, but she's still on the plane. So it's like, whoa, conquer fear, character list off, right? And then it's, she's like, 
oh, I'm here in Africa. Well, I can stay in a hotel. And then the guy's like, hey, this room is like, has a secret temple here, but I'm not going to tell you that. And why do we have a hotel as a secret temple? I don't know. It's on the top floor. How can you even get there? Science. That's how. Science. And then it's like, okay. Uh, I'll open this up and it's like, oh, you better not open it up because that's who your dad is. And, and it's like, it's so scientific. And like, I love scienticians. It's just, oh, so exciting. And then she's like, oh, wow. This is, there's like a temple in here. And then she's like, should I tell like the bellboy? Because this is really bad. Like, I should complain to the hotel. Like, first I should investigate to take pictures of the secret temple. And she's like, wow, this is, like, really cool. Like, it's all secret and temple-ish. And, you know, my dad even could have disappeared here. I don't know. This movie's great. And then she's like, oh, well, um... <sighs> Darn saying I can't take it. And then she's like, look at that. There's, like, a glowing hole. Like, wouldn't it be just so funny if I stand it on it? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that would be funny. But then I'm like... <gasps> Wait a minute, that wouldn't be so funny. In fact, you shouldn't do that because, like, your dad disappeared in there. I'm like, how does she not know this? And I realized she didn't see that. She wasn't there. That's filmmaking. <laughs> That's filmmaking. So then she walks into the temple and she's like, da, da, da. oh my goodness, I'm falling down a hole. And she was like such a great actor because she realized that people fall down their hole. Like if you ever see a person falling, they move their hands a lot, right? So she did that and that's like acting. Yo, that's filmmaking acting. Y'all, that's filmmaking. I just love it. So close to the camera. Yeah, and then it's like... Oh my gosh, what's this place? It's like all dusty and it's like the center of the earth, but it looks like a factory. So like, yeah, add that, there's people in the center of the earth. I never even, I never even knew about the scientific discovery, you know what I mean? Like I looked up on Google, people live in the center of this earth and they haven't even discovered it yet. That's how ahead of science this movie is. <laughs> they haven't even discovered it, and the movie already knows that there's people at the center of the earth. That's science, y'all. That's science. <laughs> and, like, and then like, she's like, okay, well, I'm going to walk in the center of the earth. And there's another thing the scientists got wrong. They're like, oh, somebody would die if they're at the center of the earth. Well, guess what? She's at the center of the earth, and she's alive. That's science for you. You scientists don't even know what it is. Science Rick. It's like, can I look at the name? Scientists, that's your name. Not Simeridges, scientists. Yeah, that's right, I got your name right. I'm smart. So then it's like, okay, so let's walk around this. And then there's this miner and he's like, hello, like, we apparently look exactly like you, which is like, what? That's an amazing discovery. I didn't know we looked like the center people Earth, of the center of the people of the Earth, you know? Or the center of the earth. Anyhow, and then he's like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I, I'm grumpy, and I'm like, don't like you. And she's like, well, I don't like you either, but apparently it's really scary down here because I don't know where the heck I am. And I need to get back to my hotel or I'll miss my flight out of Africa. So she's like, so can you help me? He's like, but there's no people in the there's no people at the top of the earth. And she goes, well, I'm at the top of the earth. And he's like, you're a liar. And she's like, no, I'm not. And that conversation ends. That's filmmaking, y'all. It's just, it's just filmmaking. <sighs> and then it's like, okay, so ride in my mind car. And she's like, wow, sure, because she never heard about knocking in strangers' cars. She's like, yeah, let's do this. Let's ride in your mind car. And it's like really slow. But then people are like very racist down there, so they don't like humans. So it's like, oh, there's an alien from L.A. <laughs> and that's funny because, um, because the city she's from is L.A., and you see, they mistook L.A. for a whole planet, but it's actually just a city. That's hilarious. Like, they're like, she's from the planet L.A., and it's like, no, she's not. She's from the city. She's from the planet Earth, where you're from. You're, like, totally confused. That's comedy. That's filmmaking comedy right there. And then it's like, okay, so maybe... Maybe I'll be safe. And it's like, oh, no, there's a hit for me. And then there's, like, a hitman. He's like, hey, stop. You're from L.A. That's not cool. And then for some reason, she has to make herself look pretty. I don't really get why that's necessary to the plot. But, you know, it's okay because, like, there's funny moments in it. It's just kind of weird. But anyhow, so you're done with that. And then she's like, okay, well, 
Now I look different, so the assassins won't kill me. Oh yeah, that's why it's necessary. The assassins won't kill me. And then the assassins are like, you don't really look that different, so we're gonna assassinate you anyway. And it's like, whoa, that disguise didn't work. Those assassins are smart. Like, what? What? And then she's like, oh, I better go into this industrial factory. Well, wow, everything at the center of the earth is really unpretty. Because it's a juxtaposition. That's, or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's something about juxtapositioning. What? What? And then so she goes in and she's like, oh, well, we're safe now. My brothers will turn around really slowly. And oh my god, he's behind her. What? Nobody saw that coming. It's like, oh, you think she's safe and then suddenly she's not? That's like, it made my heart go bunk honk, you know? And then I'm just like, oh no. And then I'm like, you should run away. But she wasn't even listening to me. And then I remembered, she can't hear me because it's a film. And like, you can't hear, people can't hear you in film. So then it's like, I brought her on. And I'm like, oh. Oh, oh no, I I'm, I'm better run too, but then I realize I'm watching on the TV. So she runs and then she's like, duck you, duck you, duck you, duck you, duck you, and then everyone's ducked. So then she's like, okay, well this is getting boring now, so let's just end this movie and go to Earth. And the guy's like, yeah, there's like some thing that you can climb on stones, and it's pretty forced, and like, you can get back to Earth, and she's like, that's cool, let's go. And so they go, and it's like, should have really done this before, yeah, but now we're doing it now. They get out, and then they're like, oh no, the aliens escaped, and we can't let her, but that's too late! It's too late, it's done. And they're like, really sad that they're saying goodbye, because they formed a connection somewhere, I don't really know why. And it's like, oh no, she's leaving, but okay, I'll just go back to my mining job, and then she's like, hey, I'm on Earth now! And then they're like, the hotel people come and say, how is your sleep? And it's like, that all happened in one day? What? How did that happen in one day? It was like crazy. And then nobody's going to believe her, so she's going to have to keep it to herself. Like, what? And then so she goes back, and the boyfriend's like, oh, I guess you're pretty now, so we can get back together. And that seems kind of mean that he just wants to get better back together with someone pretty, but... You know, she, he also says, well, it's also because you're more adventurous, so I guess that's an excuse. And then it's like, everyone lives happily ever after, and then this is the end. It's like, what? What? Oh. And I guess it's time for my rating. Just going to take off my goggles here. I rate this movie, okay, from a scale of 1 to 10, a 12, because it was just awesome. What? What? I am so excited. Yeah, so I'm going to see you later, guys, and I just had so much fun. John, the laundry isn't going to do itself. Oh, I can't wait to help with the laundry. It's my favorite thing. Goodbye.